Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. This is the Moonstone Mamas. My name is Devin, and if this is your first time here with us today, hi, hello, how are you? If you're a returning subscriber, so glad that you're here with us today. I'm gonna be doing something a little different, a little fun. I'm gonna do a little bit of a how-to tutorial. Um, I'm going to be metal stamping on some smaller little pendants. Um, I'm gonna try my hand at this and see how it goes. I'll show you the tools that I use and then later on in this video I'll show you a tutorial on how I stamp and this is kind of like my first time doing it and I didn't want to spend a lot of money and this is a video to kind of show you that you don't have to spend a lot of money to start metal stamping. I'll show you the tools I'm going to use. I have a brake rotor here. I ended up getting this for free um, from my brother-in-law, but you can pick an item like this or anything heavy metal that you can hammer on um, at like a pick and pull or something. You don't have to buy the $23 little metal stamping block. Um, I am stamping on just outside furniture here. Um, I, I went ahead and put some wood underneath it here. Okay, and then um, for hammering, um, it doesn't have to be a brand new hammer. I got this uh, ball peen hammer at the flea market. Um, it's, it works perfectly fine. You just want something flat so you can hammer on. I also have painter's tape in my house. I have a, a, an excess of painter's tape and you kind of want to use that to be your guide like I have here. Um, if you don't have something this big and you have something that is metal and heavy duty um, and if you don't want it to slide around, you can use a kitchen silicone mat. This helps be skid proof so when you're hammering, it's not gonna slide off your table and you're gonna lose control over it. Um, I also have these macaroni and cheese tubs. Um, my kids go through these and I figured what better way to repurpose them than to use them. Um, I also have very inexpensive pendants. And if you hear kids in the background, I have two kids under the age of three and one is a chatty Kathy. Um, I repurpose these to utilize these so you don't have to buy fancy containers you can utilize what you have and of course you don't want to start out a project like this and buying really expensive maybe sterling silver pendants or you could buy very inexpensive pendants like I have here and so if you do end up goofing it's not going to cost you a lot of money so um stay tuned and I'll show you how I do my stamping process I'll take you through how I enamel them and then I'll show you how I'm going to go ahead and um, wrap them up and give them to a customer. Um, so stay tuned. Hope you enjoy. Um, I have also another good thing is to be organized of how many letters you're going to do. So you have an idea and you don't have to keep on coming back and forth. So let's go ahead and get started. This is, I've, I've done leather stamping before, but I've never done metal stamping. So this is kind of like my first go at it from the tutorials that I've seen on YouTube. Um, I have the little stamp here or the little pendant here. I'm going to take this piece of tape and I'm just kind of, I'm not trying to do a straight line. I'm just going to try to have the letter on here be a little bit more organic. So if it's a little crooked, then it's a little crooked. I'm okay with that. So on my list, I have an M to do first. I actually have three M's to do. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the M. And these were in alphabetical order until my daughter had them. <laughs> so I grab the M. And of course, you want to make sure the M is in the right orientation facing down. I want to go ahead and stick the M on here like so, flat and straight. And if I was concerned about it being a straight line, then obviously I would line this up and make it 100% straight. But like I said, this is my first go at it and I kind of want it to be a little bit organic. And there's me, klutzy magoo. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give it one big old smacky wacky um, with my hammer. As you notice, there's a lot more dimension and a lot more um, nooks and crannies in the M as a letter D would have or a letter C. So let's go ahead and see how we do. So line it up. And there we go. As you can see, it's my first little go at it. That was just one whack. I'm sure that I could line it up and give it another good old smack. And that's, we'll see if I can do that. This is just my test run. I'll see how it, how it goes here. Okay, I think I like that. All right, cool. And then when I get inside, I'll show you the enameling process that I'm gonna go ahead and use. But for right now, this is an M. I'll go ahead and put it in my little 
mac and cheese holder because like I said, we're doing this all uh, stamping on a budget. Repurposing. Repurposing. Okay, and so I just have some painter's tape. I have an excess of um, painter's tape. You can use whatever kind of tape that you want. Uh, but I've also seen that painter's tape works really well. Um, so again, you just wanna make sure the orientation is correct. And again, if I wanted to make it a little bit more straight, I would make the straight line, but for this, I'm gonna have it more like organic. I'm gonna give it solid black. And I hit it a little harder this time, and I think I like it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and try a different letter. Um, I'm gonna pull this down just a little bit. I'm gonna put my little pendant here. I'm gonna go ahead and squish it. This way it'll remain in this position. And let's go ahead and do another letter. Uh, this one's a J. I need to do two J's. So I'm gonna go ahead and line it up. James. James. J is for James. And then I'm gonna give it a good old whack and see how it goes. Give it two. Okay, so I hit this one a little hard and as you can see, it kind of got a little um, bowed. But that's okay because I'm going for the whole organic feel of it. This is my first time doing it. And if I was really concerned, I'm sure that I can take my hammer and just give it a little smack -a and flatten it out a little bit more. So here's a J. I have one more J to do. Pull the paper down or the, the tape down, line it up, lay it straight ish because like I said I'm going for that fun little feel and let's just give it one smack and see how I like it here okay and there's the J this one's probably gonna be like the M it's probably gonna need a a, a good hard whack See, as you can see, some of the bottom part of the G wasn't lined up, so I'll make sure I... Okay guys, so I'm back inside and I'm gonna show you, um, this are, these are the final products. Um, these of course are just a bronze metal alloy small pendant. Um, but I wanted to show you the after before we go ahead and enamel them. Um, and enameling, Ed, from what I've seen, can be pretty easy um, and definitely inexpensive, so I'm sort of going um, that route. I have here just a black permanent marker, and um, I'm just going to try really quick on one of the ones that I've, I've goofed on. So um, this is one that I goofed on, um, and I'm just gonna deepen the color so that it's gonna pop out, So or, or it's gonna pop. So I'm just gonna take my 
fine tip permanent marker here and I'm gonna make sure I get into all the nooks and crannies of this letter. And I'm gonna let that sit for a second, put the cat back on it so my toddler doesn't run away with my, uh, <laughs> my permanent marker and permanent marker all over. I'm gonna be using a couple of different methods um, to kind of take the uh, permanent marker off. I do have like something you would use for a, a bubble mailer. It is squishy. Um, I do also have a magic eraser and then I also have a rouge cloth which I use to polish my jewelry. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and wet my magic eraser. Okay, so I'm gonna take this, my magic eraser, and rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it. See how it goes. So as you can see, it's coming off. Kind of just taking my finger and rubbing the back of it. And so as you can see, I need to do a little bit more, but um, I actually picked up some Magic Eraser knockoffs from um, the dollar store. So there's a, another inexpensive hack for you here. So here we go. I think I have it to where I like it. This is, of course, one of the ones that I've goofed on. And then I'm just gonna take a paper towel and rub it. I'm sure it would be a lot easier to show if it was a bigger pendant, but this is what I'm working with right now. And then there it is. There's the finished product. So there is cheap enameling with a permanent marker instead of buying a $8 enameling pen. There you go. And of course, this should last for a while as long as it doesn't get wet. Um, but of course, this is easier for the person, the, the receiving, the buyer, um, to re-darken their enamel if they wanted to. Um, you can also use a variety of colors. But again, since this is kind of like a bronzy gold, I'm just going to utilize black. And uh, I'll speed things up and show you how I'm going to do it on the ones that I'm actually going to utilize.
And here they are all done. As you can see, some of the bits of the magic eraser have come off and now are on my paper that I use as my background, but that's okay. Oh look, I'm, I still have one more to do. But um, this is your finished product. As you can see, it takes a little bit of elbow grease to kind of get it off of the magic eraser. I have seen people use like a microfiber cloth to get it off. Um, but just a cheapo half of a magic eraser worked just fine for me. Um, the paper that used to wrap stuff, this whole bubble paper did not work worth squat, so don't waste your time with that. Um, you needed a little bit something extra than just a paper towel. And the rouge cloth that I used to polish, it sort of worked, but nothing, nothing can compare to the magic eraser. So um, I'll go ahead and show you how I'm going to um, use them in a presentation. Um, and send them out. I'm doing a, a special thing for everyone who has purchased from me during my Wednesday night auction on Jennifer Layton's channel. Um, whoever purchased and sent in their their invoice and everything today, I'm going to go ahead and include one of these with their initials of their names on it just to kind of throw this out there that I'm going to be having this available. Okay guys, that is the end of the video. I took you from a blank little um, bronzed pendant, stamped it in its raw form, and showed you how to enamel it. And I also showed you how to clean it and how I went ahead and packaged it. If you enjoyed videos like this and wanna see maybe another tutorial of something else that I'm doing, let me know in the comments down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, have a great day.